Unit 4, page 24. Conversation. Hey, Lenny. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. I went to Los Angeles. Really? That's a long way. Why did you go there? I entered A Star is Born. It's a singing competition. Do you know about it? Of course I do. It's on TV every Saturday night. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want anyone to know. I love singing. Are you any good? Yes, I'm very good. I started around 10 years ago when I was in elementary school. That's great. So, how was the competition? Fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Did you win? No, I didn't, but the judges loved me. They said I was absolutely unforgettable. Unit 4, page 24, Language Box He entered a singing competition two days ago. He didn't tell anyone. What did you do last weekend? Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Unit 4, page 25. Exchange. Did you do anything special last night? Yes, I went to a rock concert. That sounds fun. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. I love rock music. Anyway, how about you? What did you do? I read a novel. Really? I like reading too. Unit 4, page 114. Pronunciation. Wrote, spoke. Ate, gave. New, blue. Bought, thought. Said, read. Shut, cut. Sent, meant. Missed, kissed. Worried, hurried. Stayed. Played. Unit 4, page 27. Listening. Now, Alistair, can you tell me about your hobby? It's interesting, isn't it? Well, I think so. I'm an autograph hunter. That means I ask famous people for their signatures. I keep them all in this black book here. Oh, yes. I see. Wow, there are a lot. Over 300. That's amazing. So, when did you start autograph hunting as a hobby? When I was 16. Really? Why did you start then? Because my father worked for Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg invited all the staff and their families to a party in London. Oh, yeah? I just walked up and asked him for his autograph and he signed it. Here. Oh, so that's the founder of Facebook's autograph. Wow. Yeah, my first. So after that, I started to look for famous people. Rihanna came to London last month, and I met her outside a hotel. This is her signature here. Oh, yes. And I got Usain Bolt's autograph when he went to the London Olympics. I saw him at the training camp. Is that why you went to the London Olympics? Yes, I do whatever I can to get these signatures. I went to Spain last year to get Penelope Cruz's signature, but I couldn't find her. That's too bad. Yes, but then I saw her at the airport in London. See, this is her signature here. Oh, yes. So, what's the last signature you got? The last one is this, Prince Williams. He came to open a new hospital last month near where I live. That's great. I guess you can sell these and get a lot of money. Yes, but I don't want to. It's my hobby. Well, good luck, and thanks very much, Alistair, for telling me about it. You're welcome.
Oh, can I have your autograph? Unit 4, page 28, Expansion Listening 1. What do you collect, Liz? I collect money, foreign money, actually. I have notes and coins from over 100 countries. Really? When did you start your collection? When I was nine years old. My family went to Europe on vacation, and I kept some money from every country we visited. And why do you enjoy this hobby? It's interesting. Money is never the same. Countries are always changing the designs of their coins and notes. 2. Hello, Diana. Can you tell me about your collection? Sure. I collect old postcards. You know, from a hundred years ago or more. When did you start? When I was 12. One day, we went shopping, and I saw an old postcard of my hometown. I really liked it, so I bought it. Why do you like collecting old postcards? Because I like history. I like to see how people lived in the past. 3. Do you collect anything, Judy? Yes, I do. I collect comic books. Comics? That's interesting. When did you start? My uncle bought me an old Superman comic book for my 14th birthday. I thought it was a great present. I have over 500 now. Why do you like collecting old comic books? It's an investment. My collection is worth a lot of money now. Unit 4, page 29, Expansion Reading. Weird and Wonderful Hobbies This month, we decided to contact our readers to ask about their hobbies. Here are some unusual hobbies we discovered. Fact. Over one million people watched last year's Rodeo Houston in Texas in the U.S. Chuck and Judy Peterson live in Minnesota in the U.S. Chuck, 71, and Judy, 68, have an unusual hobby. They attend rodeos throughout the United States and Canada. They started their hobby 30 years ago. Last year, they drove around 45,000 miles and saw 32 rodeos. The trip took five months. Going to rodeos is a cheap hobby, says Chuck. We usually pay just $10 for a ticket. As well as watching rodeos, they also visit friends and go sightseeing while they travel. We visited Chuck's family in Las Vegas on our last trip, adds Judy. My interest in magic started when I was seven years old, says Peter Kershaw, a 25-year-old teacher from Brisbane, Australia. I went to a friend's birthday party and saw my first magic trick. It was amazing. When Peter returned home, he read every book on magic in the local library. Magic is a fun way of making new friends, he says. Now, Peter's hobby is making him rich. Last year, he wrote a book on magic and appeared on television twice. One day, he hopes to have his own TV show. Fact. The first recorded magic trick was in ancient Egypt in 2700 BC. Do you have an interesting or unusual hobby? Then write to us. We'd like to hear from you.